Okay, so we have just found out from some friends of ours that we are going to be getting, what, what are we getting? 40 chickens. 40 chickens, and we are not ready for 40 chickens. I was planning to do this in the spring and we were gonna get this big elaborate coop built with all this fancy stuff, and I'm still gonna do that, but uh, we need to get ready for these chickens in a few days. So what we have is this little paddock out here on the outside of our barn we're not using for anything we don't have any any other animals in here yet but it's in rough shape uh, we've got some posts missing and uh, things like that in here and what I want to do is make this into kind of like a chicken run uh, the chickens will have free range in here for right now so I need to get some new fencing put on um, all along here I'm gonna get rid of this gate I think uh, close this off here and maybe just have one gate and probably the one that's mounted to the barn here so we can so I can still get the tractor in there down the road if I need to um, and uh, so yeah we need to fix all this fencing up I'm gonna do a five foot tall uh, welded wire is what I chose and this is because this is gonna be used for goats down the road too and we also might use it for pigs for like when they're having babies and stuff like that we'll bring them over into this little pasture and this will this will be good for all those animals um, the goats can't get their their uh, heads stuck in this it's a four inch by two inch uh, little rectangles here so this is a, a good fencing for for all those animals it's more expensive than the woven stuff but I want to try to do it right here if I can so uh, so yeah we got to fix a lot of this we got to redo some of this wood um, make it all look decent and we don't have too much time so I'll take you inside and show you the the inside part of the temporary coop as well well we just came out to get started on the chicken coop area here or whatever you want to call it and we found something suspicious waiting for us in the barn and I don't know how long it's been here but it's a fox and it smells awful let's get rid of this thing oh. Oh. Well, you know from the beginning of the video there that we have predators here. There's obviously fox um, coming up to the barn, and we know there's raccoons in here because there's raccoons have run out of here a couple times. So we have this little stall at the back of the, the barn here. Um, this is just an open entrance. The barn door is broken, which I have to fix soon too. But uh, this was used for horses, obviously, and it is a mess. So we had to clean this all out get this down to dirt, put some fresh straw in here. I've got to close these gaps um, all along the bottom here and over here. I'm going to cut in some type of a small chicken door of some sort uh, in the bottom of this so that they can get in and out of this and we can close it off for security when they come in at night. Uh, we've got these open areas up at the top here and then all up here that will need to be, I'll just use chicken wire. I'm gonna chicken wire this off and all of that off. And so that should keep them secure. I'm also gonna to have to put some, I might use hardware cloth here uh, since this is a little lower and use that uh, to cover that up. So this will be the temporary chicken coop. This has gotta last them through the winter. Um, I gotta figure out watering and feeding and stuff like that too. And uh, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but we're gonna figure it out. So I've got my, my best helper over here. We're ready to start working. So we're gonna get out and uh, what do we start on first? Fencing? Yeah. All right, fencing. Nails are so long they go right through the other side of the post. Okay, so I'm trying to tear off some of these extra boards. Uh, man, this thing is my instincts to just tear this whole thing down and start over. Are, I'm fighting them, uh, but I got to get this done temporarily so I'm tearing off the middle boards here just so that it'll match all the rest of the fencing around there uh, 
I gotta take off these cables and wires and all this old fencing, that woven wire stuff. Not a big fan of that stuff. So I'm gonna take all this off. I don't know what this cable was for, probably to hold the whole thing together. I'm gonna take that off. But uh, man, nothing is straight in this thing. And it's driving me nuts. But, uh, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. I gotta get this thing ready. Hopefully this temporary paddock won't be, uh, won't become permanent. This cable is gonna come in handy. You can also whittle with a hatchet, can't you? Yeah. I learned that in the book. Pull it out and then click that down. Like that? Yep. These guys love it when I dig. Push hard. Okay. Ready, set, go. for hunting. Okay, well, I think we're gonna kind of wrap this video up because I've got a lot of work left to do. But so far everything's turned out really well. So we took that um, extra gate out. There were two gates here originally, which was unnecessary. I can still get a tractor in through here. And so I sunk another post and did the two by sixes. The two by sixes are really kind of useless here, other than they help support the end post. Um, but I just wanted to match everything that, that they did from when this was a horse pasture. So uh, we put up all of our welded wire, which I really like this uh, welded wire. Um, these things just, uh, it's very stiff and sturdy. Uh, we pulled it, you know, I pulled it as tight as I could and um, it's, it's very, very resilient. So uh, now this fencing, you know, remember this is not to keep predators out. Uh, predators can climb right over this. I mean, raccoons and possums and 
you know, a fox could dig underneath this thing and all that stuff. This is just to keep the chickens in during the day. Um, I, I, they, this is temporary. They will eventually be fully free ranging in different paddocks and different pastures around our home. But the problem with having 40 or 50 chickens free ranging around your house is that they will end up being around the house because they, they, they associate you with food. And they, uh, like our three chickens we have right now, they just come running up to the house all the time and they're making messes all over the patios and sidewalks and stuff. So we want to keep the chickens back out here by the barn. Um, so I've got some finishing touches here. I'm going to put some, some stringers in between here and between this little corner. There used to be a corner post out here, but it rotted off. Um, I, most of these look like treated posts, but some of them rotted off anyway. So, uh, I didn't, I couldn't re-dig in that same spot because there's a post in the ground right there. And so I just decided to cut the corner. And so I'll put some stringers across there. It doesn't look too bad. Um, got this side, uh, done. I had to tie it together here and I need to re-staple, uh, finish stapling this, double staple all that together. And everything else looks pretty good though. Well as good as it's gonna look here anyway, for a crooked old fence.